This meeting has been big, but it's still been intimate. It's still been fun. It's still been friendly. It's been successful individually, but it's been much bigger than the sum of its parts. We had a quartet of absolutely outstanding prize lectures. We had a, a packed program. Our um, professional development sessions were very well attended and appreciated. We saw our early career microbiologists coming of age and starting to affect what we were doing. And I think a lot of people are going away with uh, happy memories and also inspiration and pride in, in being part of this type of community. So I think it's just been a fabulous week. I think it's been the best conference I've ever been to. It's definitely the best Microbiology Society conference for a long, long time. It's the biggest. We've had loads of challenges to overcome, like where do you put 600 posters in this place? But everybody's been around and seen the posters. It's been a great atmosphere. The divisions have put together some great sessions. The speakers have been fantastic. The prize winners' lectures have been amazing. It's all been really, really positive, really great. Well, the conference has been great. Um, it's been very exciting. Good range of topics. Of course, the, the problem with the, the conference is deciding which sessions to go to. And that's always the sign of a good conference if you can't decide which sessions to go to. It brings out um, all these different um, experts from different fields. Bring it together. You get a chance to chat to each other. And you never know what techniques you're going to pick up, what ideas you're going to pick up. This is my first uh, Microbiology Society conference. It's been a, a really positive experience for me. Uh, I gave a talk this morning and I got some really nice feedback. This is kind of one of the few times where I get to kind of mix with all my colleagues. I get to catch up. We get to talk about different ideas. We actually initiate collaborations at these meetings. So it's also learning about all of the new fantastic science that's going on. But it's kind of, it's that network. Everyone's really enthusiastic. So it's having that buzz going away from it. First off, I obviously love the science. It's top-notch science. The other thing that I really like is the fact that the meeting, you know, it's big enough to feel like you're, you're really a part of something, but it's also small enough that you don't miss out on those networking opportunities. You bump into, uh, you know, your, your inspirational scientists that you've always been dying to meet. I've really connected with new colleagues um, and existing collaborators and really expanded my knowledge in areas of microbiology that I didn't know much about. But really for me, because I've just started my own research group, I have a couple of PhD studentships available and through the Microbiology Society kind of Twitter profiles and kind of engaging with the whole community. I've had a lot of interest in these studentships, so it's quite exciting for connecting with the next generation. This is a membership society, everything we do is for our members and it's been really fantastic to see so many members here really enjoying this conference and there's been great buzz about it and you know what, the staff have done an absolutely fantastic job organising it and I really can't wait to invite even more members back to next year's conference which will be in Birmingham.